So I've been using Shortwave recently since they released some new features with AI. Usually those AI features on email apps are not great. Take Spark for example. It's a great app that I use for a long time, but I rarely use their AI stuff because its output was too inaccurate and too generic for me to actually use it. But Shortwave is really good and I now use it every day. So I thought I'd share how to use it to organize your inbox with Shortwave and then show you the new AI features. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to clean unnecessary or non-actionable items. If an email isn't necessary, you can archive it. If it's one that needs follow-up or is important, you can pin it. And if it's not actionable now, you can snooze it so you see it at the right time. But sometimes you get spams or newsletters that don't let you unsubscribe easily. In that case, I usually block that sender entirely. It's pretty nice to be able to block annoying senders like this with just a few clicks. A nice thing about Shortwave is that you have an option to block every new sender so you can completely shut it out in the future. Then to make your inbox even cleaner, you can group similar or related emails into bundles. If you're subscribed to many newsletters like me, you can label them as newsletter. Then all the newsletters will arrive your inbox as a bundle so they won't clutter your inbox. Personally, I love to read all the newsletters in the morning, so I made a custom rule for the bundle to arrive at 8 a.m. every day. This way, I don't get distracted during my work time. I really like this scheduled delivery feature. And similarly, you can bundle anything together like promotional emails, calendar updates, and purchase confirmations. This way you can archive them all at once. Shortwave comes with some default labels for these things, so you can use them right away. But if you need more, you can create new ones yourself. And once you apply a label to an email, it will be applied automatically to the future emails from that sender, so you don't have to do this every time. Also, another thing I like about Shortwave is that it lets you drag and drop emails to group them together manually. So if there are a bunch of emails I need to reply to, I can put them together and name it respond to make it into kind of a to-do list. Or I make a list called follow-up for emails I haven't gotten a reply yet. This bundling really helps minimize distractions and stay productive during the day. Speaking of minimizing distractions, Rise is my favorite productivity tool that I use when I want to focus. They are kindly sponsoring this video. It's a fully automatic time tracker with AI. While you're working, it keeps track of your activities on your computer and automatically categorizes them so you know how much time you spend on different tasks as well as how often you get distracted. After analyzing your data, Rise can block these distracting websites and apps for you so you can fully focus on work. But what's great about Rise is that it can also give you a notification to take a break if you are working for a long time non-stop. This way you can keep a healthy work habit and avoid burnout. And to help you focus even more, Rise comes with a focus timer and music. So you can choose how long you want to concentrate on which task, then pick music you like. I always use this when I start working on anything. I like the standard 25 minute session, five minutes break and repeat. Anyway, Rise is such a useful tool and available for both Windows and Mac. So make sure to give it a try from the link in the description. All right, there are actually more cool things of Shortwave that I want to talk about. The reason I've been using it is not just because it's easy to declutter your inbox, but also because its AI features are exceptionally good compared to the other email apps. So it has this AI assistant you can talk to anytime. There are multiple things it can do for you. For example, it's great at finding a specific piece of information from all the emails you have. This is such a huge time saver for me because I have lots of extremely long email threads and finding something from them is like finding a needle in a haystack. But with the AI Assistant, all you have to do is to ask for it. And I love how it comes with the links to the original emails where the information was. And speaking of long threads, it can also summarize the whole threads for you so you don't have to read everything to catch up or refresh your memory. And if you want to know the things you need to do, you can have AI to identify action items or even have a list all open questions. I love this AI Assistant is accessible from the mobile app too. This is so useful when I want to quickly reply to people on the go when I don't have my laptop. Now, this is all great, but they are not even my most favorite thing about Shortwave. It's actually how it generates draft. Unlike most AI email apps, you can personalize the AI's writing style so they actually sound like you, not a robot. It can do this by training the AI with your past emails, which allows it to learn how you write and respond to different topics and situations. Thanks to this personalization, when I have AI to draft responses, they actually look like the emails that I wrote. So I can usually insert the message directly and and send it right away without even editing it. And that saves a lot of time. There are some similar email apps that can generate drafts for you, but none of them, as far as I know at the moment, can personalize it like this. 
By the way, I speak English and Japanese, so I tested in Japanese as well. The results were actually pretty good. The AI assistant can perfectly understand my request and then give me answers. The drafts it generated in Japanese were also great. So even if you speak and uh, send emails in many languages, Shortwave can be helpful. But I'm not entirely happy with Shortwave. One of the reasons is that it's only compatible with Gmail. So you cannot use it with Outlook, iCloud, or any other email accounts. Of course, you can have all the emails from these accounts forwarded to your Gmail. And that way you can see all of them, but you cannot reply to them because that would send a reply from your Gmail account, not the original Outlook, iCloud, or whatever email account it's from. Or is there a way around this? Let me know if you know. But if you send lots of emails from various non-Gmail accounts, you might want to use different email apps like uh, Spark and uh, Fastmail, both of which are great. Also, I wish I could see every email from all the accounts in one place instead of having to switch between them. I currently have two Gmail accounts in Shortwave, but sometimes I wish I could just have one list. Okay, overall, I'm very happy with Shortwave. For me, my primary email accounts are Gmail, so there was no issue for me to start using it. But if your primary account is Outlook or something else, this might not be for you. Anyway, if you're interested, you can start using it right away. And uh, thank you so much for watching till the end. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.